Hey guys, I'm with Diana in the Quick Draw car at the Gas for Meat at Lasseter Dragway, and they have a really cool story about this car. She is also the driver of this car. Diana, what can you tell me about this amazing vehicle? Well, we uh, we actually found it on Facebook, but it was in a creek in Glenville, West Virginia, and it had been parked for uh, the last inspection sticker was 1995, wow. and we actually it took. That was four years ago, so it had set for that long. So when we when we picked it up, you could stand right here where I'm at, and you could see her. Needing some major TLC. As any good race car starts out as, right? They never start out as a great car. So the paintwork is nothing short of amazing on this. Is this lace or what? It, what kind of a paintwork is this? This. This is, I mean, it's old school lacquer. Everything is, is lacquer. It's, the design is actually what they call bridal rose. And it's just, it's just a big piece of lace. You shoot a base, you put the lace down, you shoot your color through it, and then you go back over it with whatever, like your clear candy, whatever you want to put on it as far as color wise. And, and being the driver of the car, and it's being a four-speed car, correct? Yes. Is there any challenges that presents for you? Are you learning? Is it something you learn every time you get on the drag strip? Or is this a, a fairly consistent car to drive, or does it surprise you every time you get in? It's not the car that it was last year, put it that way. Last year, whenever you know, whenever we were just learning, my husband was driving, we had a, hey, uh, we had a top loader, and it just, I had never made a pass that I actually went through all four gears. Is it missing gears or? Um, it was just it was just getting caught and hung in between yeah. gears. I would get from first to second, but I'd never get from second to third. This car pulls best in third. It does all its pulling in third. But we we went with a Jericho transmission over the winter, and it's just been a night and day difference. I mean, the first time that I had it out at Emerald Coast in Florida, I was a bundle of nerves. I went through the water box, done my burnout, everything was great, took off, and as soon as I fit, I shifted from first to second, it was like a weight just lifted, and it's like, this is fun. And I've not, I've not looked back. I mean, I'm still learning right now. I'm on maybe my 14th, 15th pass in the car. So other than test and tune, I mean, that's including test and tune last wow. year. So, I mean, I, I have a lot to learn. I have a lot of inconsistencies that I'm going to work on, mainly my launch and, you know, launching hard enough. So, what's it like to travel the circuit? The Southeastern Gasers Association is such a unique association. They're very strict on the rules. Is there a lot of upkeep and maintenance with a car like this? Because you guys are hard on these cars. When you leave the line, it's, it's violent. Really, when we built this car, we built it to be period correct. I mean, my husband, he grew up on a drag strip in Ohio, his dad drove, and but everything we did to the car, we researched, we talked to my father-in-law, we made sure that, yes, this is how they did it back then, this is how we're going to do it. So there's not hardly anything on here that you wouldn't have seen, you know, back in the day. And on that kind of part. parts, you're still able to find those type of parts and things of that nature. Yeah, that everything. It's getting a little harder to find. It is. Um, talking to some of the drivers last night, I know that they're having problems. They're waiting on parts, that kind of stuff. Which really, um, you know, the motor would be really the only parts that we would actually have to have because I mean everything else we've tried to do ourselves. Um, whenever we replace the floor pan, we. We use sheet metal, we've got a bead roller, we've done it all ourselves. And it's you and your husband, correct? Yes. That's great. Yes. So you guys go to all the shows together. You do the driving, he does the wrenching. I saw him applying, I think, some wax earlier. Yeah, that, uh... he's he's very, very, uh, very particular <laughs> about it being nice and clean, which awesome. I'm fine with that. And it's beautiful in his shows. He, um, he keeps it running. As long as he keeps it running, I'm going to do my best to... Keep shifting gears. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, not break it. Very good. Well, Diana, I really appreciate your time. I wish you the best of luck. I see you're running in sea gas. Uh, we'll keep our eye out for you and see how you progress today. Thank you. Thank you so much. What an amazing show today. Make sure you catch the Southeastern Gas for Association and a lot of different drag strip across the Southeast. We're going to head back to Atlanta. I hope you enjoyed the show. Until next time, keep the hammer down and keep it between the guardrails.